So wildlife habitats are basically the home for wildlife, for the places where our birds and bats and bees and mammals and other species live. It, it's the clean water, it's the shelter, it's the food that habitat needs to, that wildlife needs to survive. Across the planet, wildlife habitat is disappearing. And when it disappears, our species begin to disappear too. They may go extinct. So what the Wildlife Habitat Council is doing and has done for the last 25 years is work with some of the leading corporations in the US, like General Motors, to um, develop and implement projects on their lands that um, in in increase and improve wildlife habitat. And we do that by working with our employees um, to implement wildlife habitat projects on corporate lands. I think a great example of that is what we at General Motors are doing. And uh, we're seeing examples right here in front of us. These are casings from a uh, Chevrolet Volt. And uh, because of the nature of the way these are built and the strength and their um, temperature resistance, they cannot be recycled in a, in a classic sense. So rather than uh, put them into a landfill, we're actually reusing them. And as Margaret said, bringing the employees into this process to create a, a very positive feeling, to, to create an engagement that you wouldn't normally have with the place that you work. So the employees have taken this one here, painted it black so it absorbs the sun's light, and created a bat box. So this can be hung in the side of a tree there on the, on the grounds of the um, manufacturing plant. This one here is for wood ducks. So again, it's all about um, using uh, uh, the components and the, and the bits and pieces that come out of the car building process and engaging the employees into um, uh, helping them become much better habitats for local uh, wildlife. 